Christie. I yeah, think what's you. I think what's coming, however, because Scott Walker hasn't faced Europe yet. With Europe, if Europe collapses and the whole world resets, I mean, do you guys see that the the double digit growth now is over in China? They're now saying that mm-hmm. the China growth is like five percent. China cannot survive. You remember that? What was that uh, Petcom or uh, Foxconn plant? Remember that? Mm -hmm. The Foxconn plant where they had all the trouble? There were riots and strikes at the Foxconn plant in China. When when their their growth goes down below double digits, which nobody can hold double digits, when it goes below double digits, the inside, I mean, I'm talking about the Communist Party members at the highest level, are worried about revolution in China. Supposedly, they have to maintain at least nine percent to keep this going, and, they, and, and at least nine. And they're not doing it. No, and they're not doing it. So there's real problems coming. You know, I personally think that we're going to make it, um, and we're going to be the best out of the rest of the world if we have somebody that's not going to tie all their boats to the global boats. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta disengage from the motherships because the motherships are coming down. That's why the best thing for Europe is not, long-term, is not to tie all of your ships together. Disengage, guys. Get away from each other. I'm sorry. I know that sounds callous, but get away from each other or they're all going to go down. A drowning man will pull a life uh, saver down. They'll all drown um, because it will be panic and everything else. you got to get away from it until it stabilizes and then come back in.